hello and welcome in this video i will demonstrate and explain about the co-pilot in a day this video will only be on the gen ai and artificial intelligence using natural language and it will only be on the co-pilot why only be on the co-pilot after look after just you know going through this video you don't need any other applications to find your you know daily life requirement like you know why i'm saying uh, daily life uh, whatever you do in apart from your work in even if even you know work whatever you do you just need to find something some details in in internet right so those will i'm sure though 90 percent cases you don't need those internet browsers and at all you just need to come to the co-pilot and ask for your desired thing or requirement co-pilot will help you to bring those details and and make your life much easier welcome to this session my name is ramit paul i'm a microsoft mbb in business applications i create videos i share my knowledge in this youtube channel uh, most most of the videos are on my business uh, application part but since copilot is creating a buzz i have selected this topic to make you understand how it is helping me as a microsoft mbp as a content creator or and it will help you as well in your daily life let's see so when you talk about copilot how to come to this page you just need to write copilot in your internet and this is the first link it will come like search microsoft copilot your av everyday ai companion so now just think about what you do in, in in daily life say you are working in a company you write a mail right so okay by the way when you open this copilot you don't need to log in by your personal email id and then it will bring these details like it is a template predefined template microsoft has given you can utilize this template like if you select this template it is this template is all about where are some of the most most scenic train rides with panoramic views so it will utilize this template question and it will give you the answer okay this is just for uh, your information i'm sure this is the this is not the thing it will come into it in in daily life but you can still use this template okay so now coming to this topic what help you can get from the copilot suppose you are thinking to go somewhere like uh, i have been in micro you know in seattle in usa this year and i was really struggling because it is a different country i was really struggling to get hotels the nearby hotels exactly near to my venue of microsoft office so it's a suppose so i have spent you know a lot of nights to find out hotels in in usa because i don't know the country so now as i know using you know I know I, I as I know that when I to go to USA and I know the exact venue I can just write in a, show some hotel details near to Microsoft office in Seattle. See, I don't need to write even I just need to tap it you tap Seattle building 33. So I will write down and so so this copilot understand the natural language i don't need to write some code or use any other language i need to write my natural language it will use my natural language it understand the natural language it will use generative ai in the copilot that it is using the gpt4 and it will give you the answer say suppose i have I have typed it so it is giving me the answer in at the market my flower park hotel it will also bring you the map hotels in seattle all the hotels availability you can just select from here okay your budget and respective hotels you can see from here itself that's why i am talking i have talked about only this copilot i will be talking about so this is one this is just a basic thing you can do in your daily life okay now coming to the next one what you can do more say you are going to seattle or any places you can just write in your language two days two night in seattle okay that's it i don't need to write everything make a plan okay so now if you you will be amazed you understand your language and it will make your detailed plan day one and day two where we can visit in seattle okay so this is how this co-pilot can help you in 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 your daily life so this is very basic i have just i'm just talking about this very basic i am talking about so now and another thing 
say suppose you are getting bored and you want to listen some music or you want to see some lyrics okay just type in uh, compose a love song for me okay. just need to type it copilot will create a song for you okay and most of the cases it creates songs with the music but since i have used this and this song creation for me it is uh, five per day so i have used this five per limit so it is not creating the lyrics with music but it is still creating the lyrics for me in other cases it actually creates the song for you you can play the song okay so let's wait i don't know what it is creating so if i uh, you know see this song i can also download this one you know uh, if, I, if i go here go down i can download it here you know uh, read i can read it here so if i just read it you can can hear it i guess if not certainly here yeah. is a heartfelt love song for you title eternal echo okay so now you can hear the song or you know most of the cases it will create a song and music with music <clears throat> so now you are working in a company in daily life and, and then say suppose you want to write a email right so you can just write something i mean just a basic say suppose write an appreciation email okay type in it will create the email for you, you just don't need to create you know with a subject you don't need to you know write on your own it will create the email for you you can write like extensive like create a appreciation mail for someone and something like that you can create that it can create the email for you this is one thing now important and what i my favorite because i create a lot of contents i create a lot of ppts in my daily work so i need some you know pictures i need some slides slide picture in the slides so and so you know most of the time we need to go to the google and then type in and then take the picture download in but most of the time it does not fit our imagination or our imagination or whatever we are thinking that okay this type of picture it can fit right so now copilot can actually understand your imagination or imagine whatever imagine imagining and it will create the picture for you whatever you are thinking let's see how you can do that so for that either you can just use this designer okay or same thing just type in microsoft designer okay click on this microsoft designer and here again you need to just log in if you have not logged in and you can use similar type of the you know, template okay here we have templates say suppose i mean i want to use this template okay uh, say uh, this template okay so here it is basically predefined template a portrait of a person with glasses and prickles and messy hair in a cartoon hand drawn style blah 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 so you can just change this and take gray hair aged or aged man okay you can change this thing and you can generate it okay so it will create the multiple pictures for you whatever you typed in and it will generate the picture whatever you have typed in and you can just download it it will just create the picture in in few seconds just wait and see and the most important part is this picture is not available in any anywhere it is not available in any any google it is creating the picture for you it is actually drawing the picture for you okay and the most important part of the you know jane ai is if you use the same same writings it will not bring the same picture because this is the beauty of gen ai it creates the picture or it creates the answer on his on its own it gives a different type of result or not different type of it basically get trained and it does not come with the same same answers or same pictures you see the picture is now changed okay so now say you will ask me that i don't want to use this template i want to create a picture on my own how i do this so here the my favorite as, as i mentioned in this here in this you know uh, dashboard you have multiple options like one is image creator sticker creator design creator you know 
generative erase remove background collage creator it is coming you know brand creator everything and it does not come with the internet it actually creates on your typings or even your language let's take an example i want to create an image i will just click on generate it will bring a page here i will describe what i what i am thinking that it will fit in my presentation or where i want to add this picture say i want to add a kid with superpower with her laptop you know uh, uh, say um, india or taj mahal in background okay now you can generate so this is what i am thinking that this picture can fit in my presentation or where i want to make it okay this, this is basically creating the picture it's co-pilot or design microsoft design is creating the picture on your used natural language just wait and and see what it is creating let's see see this is the picture it is created exactly what i have mentioned kid with superpower which is basically a superman you know and with her laptop taj mahal in background okay so this is what it's created if i want to use it i just you know click on it i can download it and it will be downloaded in my system i can just copy paste this picture in my ppt and if i want to create a design i want to you know change something i want to you know i want to have more design with this picture i can add multiple picture and mix it up okay and if i want to edit it i just click on edit from here i will just click edit this will come this will bring another page here i can you know remove background crop it replace it i can use designed say suppose i i want to use this one i want to use this one okay uh, i want to use this design so it will bring all these predefined design okay so now important part like i mentioned it actually does not bring a uh, same result so if i want to uh, use the same thing say i will not change anything here i will still use the same language i will click on generate so now you will be amazed that it is not bringing the same picture it is creating a different lot of pictures on its own and this picture is actually created by the microsoft design and that is a power or beauty of ai okay let's wait see this time it is different picture if i click once again generate it will bring it will it will create another picture for you so whatever you like you just click on it download it use it in your presentation okay so that's how i create the you know youtube thumbnail uh, blog thumbnail ppts presentation flyer whatever i think i just type it and it creates a picture for me if i just replace this taj mahal and i like uh, uh, say suppose how a bridge is located in my hometown which is kolkata so now let's see how it creates created so now you will be amazed to see that it is creating the same type of picture the background is with our bridge and if you have watched my videos or any flyer i am actually using this one and it is helping me a lot i don't need to go in any google and make make design and i don't need to spend a lot of money i just make it as a free i just type and it creates a picture for me and i use it in my presentation okay this is one beautiful thing what i like in microsoft designer there are many things i will talk about which is sticker creator this is you know uh, you can use a sticker and if you want to use like uh, happy face with crown okay i just click generate it will actually create a sticker for me so if i have say say i have this i have used i have created this sticker using microsoft designer and i am using this in one of the ppt so if i go back i will wait and copilot or sorry at microsoft designer ai will create the sticker for me let's see this is the sticker 
make or I will like make realistic happy face with crown. Let's see what it creates for me. Let's see, it creates it, 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 it takes a couple of seconds. Let's wait. Okay, so this is another set of picture it basically brings. Okay, and if I write Paris in background, if I click generate, let's see what it brings. And even you know, uh, this is not scripted or anything, I'm just using my own language it is creating on its own i don't know what it will bring and i am just waiting for the designer to create the picture for me this is a very you know i i would i would say it is beautiful and amazing i would say fantastic microsoft innovation i really appreciate uh, the way it is created see this has created with the Burj khalifa or the paris in background sorry not Burj, Burj khalifa paris in background so i can just click on this sticker i can copy it maybe and I can just paste it in my PPT. No, it's not actually happening. You can download it. Okay. And then and then I can just see it. I can paste it. Let's see. Yeah, you see. What a beautiful one. I can use it in my PPT. And I can use it in a flyer. Isn't it beautiful? Okay. Now let's move to the next one. So now it is part of sticker creators. What we have seen, we have create, we have seen image creator, sticker creator. I can also we can also see design creator, but it's very similar to the image creator. So now I will talk about remove background. So this remove background is also very powerful. This I think you know how what I'm talking about. Say I have pictures. Let's see whether I have pictures or not. See I have pictures. So this is one of my picture. I just upload it. And I will wait for some time. It will remove the background for me. It will, it will be only me in this picture. So let's see how it works. See, there is no background now. There is a background in this picture and it, it removed the background. So now I, I can create, I can use this picture and I can, you know, use it in any, uh, how to say any, any presentation. Okay. It's not copying. I need to download and it will work. Okay. So this is one. And another beautiful thing is generative erase. So generative erase is you have some picture and you want to remove some object or remove some person for your for, from the background, right? So let's see if I have a picture or not. Okay, I think I have picture. It is a MVP summit picture, so I have a picture. Like I can use it, so I can upload it. So now I want to I want to remove an object. So object means it can be a person as well. So it, it, it basically understand by the object from the picture. So if I see, uh, if I, let's let it, you know, uh, let it be refreshed. And let's see how we can do that. It is taking some time. Okay. So now, uh, by the way, these are all MVP. It's a superstar in you know Microsoft technology. I respect them a lot. I I, am, I was very fortunate. I have met them in Microsoft Office Seattle. So you know, with due respect, uh, don't mind uh, that I am going to remove someone from this picture. So suppose this is Sukrut, uh, my my senior, my one of my idol. So if I want to remove Sukrut from here, I will just select and then erase object. Okay. So if you see by no time sukrut my idol will be removed from this you know picture this is one of the beautiful thing microsoft has given in this designer okay so it is basically erasing the object let's wait let's wait see now sukrut is not there this is so powerful okay and if you want to see uh, you know say suppose uh, if i want to remove uh, I don't I don't want to remove anyone maybe or okay uh, start over I want to select this object uh, he is also one of the uh, finest MVP so I want to re erase erase him 
I can just erase it. Yeah, I can just select the object. I can select anything, and it will be removed from the picture. Let's wait. Okay, let's wait. Let's wait. Yeah, so he is no not there now. Okay, so that's how you can utilize it. You can brush also. Say if you want to brush it. Okay, uh, if you want to brush. Okay, it will be just brushed. Uh, just wait. Uh, uh, brush select. Okay. Somehow it is not giving me the result, but that's how you can brush it. You can you can remove the object from the picture, and that's how it can amaze you. It can basically save a lot of time for you. It, in your daily life it, it not basically your you know part of job but you can have fun utilizing the microsoft designer right so yeah that's how you can utilize this if i go back to here and if you know if you will notice this collage created notify me it is not here actually it is coming so it will come it will notify me a brand creator so these are all predefined things okay and you can utilize it in your daily life and it will make your life very much easier most importantly it will make your life very interesting you know it will be funny interesting you know that's what i can comment on it as of now and it is really helping me a lot in my daily basis because i a lot of content a lot of ppt a lot of pictures what i what i imagine i can't just take it from the internet i just type in here it creates a picture for me this is the beautiful part of gene ai natural language using natural language artificial intelligence i can say so I hope you have got a glimpse, you got a you got a flavor that how it can help you in your daily life, how you can utilize it, you know, to make your life much much easier, and it can actually you know uh, improve your efficiency in work. So that's what for this video. I hope you have liked it, uh, and if you have any feedback, just write it to me, write it to YouTube channel. I will I will be happy to help you. I'm happy to happy to guide you, or I will be I will take those feedback as a positive, and I will try to create more good contents in future. So thanks for watching once again. Thank you for your time. Really appreciate it. And yeah, that's it for now. Bye for now. Thank you.